All right, I'm back. Uh, this video is going to be a little shorter, uh, mainly because I'm losing my voice. Uh, but it's pretty exciting. I got GR GSM scanner up and running in the Raspberry Pi or the Dragon OS Pi 64, as well as the GR smart meters, which uh, is being talked about a lot here recently. There's a pretty good article I'll pull up here in a second but uh, I just want to make it clear uh, every uh, possible precaution is being taken in this video there is a uh, box over here that's got a B205 mini that's going to run a, uh, a quick GSM 900 network so that we can uh, take a look at using the RTL SDR and the GR GSM scanner this is not uh, uh, perfect yet by any means. Uh, we're going to take a look in the user source, GRGSM GUI. And so we're going to need to use sudo because of where it's sitting and because it writes uh, some output to a text file to make this happen. So I'm going to show the example using the RTL SDR. So we'll type out. And this was actually a fork of, uh, I think it was like a German school project, and I just took that, which was written for Python 2 and uh, Qt4, and then uh, tried to the best of my ability to convert it to Python 3 and Qt5. So let's see, we're going to do, should be... Dash dash args we'll go with the RTL. That should be uh, sufficient for right now. And so there's not a lot of like verbose or debugging built in. I, I need to work that out. So you're not going to really see a lot happen. But I'm going to go ahead and run this now. So it'll be running in the background here. You're going to get a GUI like here. You can see it's searching for GSM. And so really what's just happening is the scanner is running in one thread, then the GUI in another thread. And the results will be put over here on the left that you can interact with. <clears throat> so uh, let's jump over and we'll take a look at, uh, while that's running, we'll take a look at GR Smart Meters. And uh, I encourage, there's a whole series of uh, videos that are being put together on this. And this uh, setup guide is what uh, is pretty much already taken care of in both Dragon OS. Uh, focal and then as well uh, well now the Pi 64 build uh, I will point out in case you're wanting to build this on your own on a Pi and normally I would have did this all from from scratch so you could follow along but this was a pretty lengthy build but if you are doing this from scratch See if I can remember this. You're going to want to make a change here. Let's see. Well, I'll, I'll come back to this because I'm, I'm blanking right at the moment while I'm making this video, and I'll put it in the, the uh, description. There was a CMake file that I had to edit and remove a uh, option off in order to get this to build, but that was really the only change I had to make. Anyways, uh, let's focus here. So back over here, we can see the GRGSM scanner uh, has completed. We can see it's found uh, the B205 Mini. 
there's still some German there I need to uh, change and then there you go you've got some uh, information there so really I thought it was pretty cool I mean it adds that I'd like to take the center area and add some additional capabilities in there maybe uh, the ability to set it up from the beginning using the GUI maybe even include uh, the uh, LTE uh, scanner that uh, is in uh, this build of Dragon OS as well okay so that's the GRGSM scanner that's built in now let's close that out now for the uh, GR smart meters you're going to need to do a couple things here but uh, one being determining your power provider CRC so this revenge it's actually in the user source as well and right here in the main directory this should be okay I built this for the arch 64 we can see it looks like it's fine you've got your options there so you'd have to do that and I can't really show anything because I don't have any smart meters around me that uh, that work with this but if you do your research and you find that you're in an area this may work for you okay so let's change into our GR or wait a minute, GR GR smart meters you're going to go into the examples folder now I have both the RTL SDR and the hacker F plugged in but I would say uh, use the RTL SDR flow graph for both mainly because I think that the hacker F flow graph has that full 20 meg sample rate and the uh, you get a lot of overflows with GNU radio <clears throat> But what I've done in here is added uh, one small change so I specify the device arguments RTL equals zero and you should be able to just execute the flow graph you look down here in the bottom left uh, oh I should point out the first time uh, you put the image there and run it uh, you're probably looking at, and it may be my SD card or, or something else I need to look into, but the first time you try to start this up, it's probably going to take uh, several minutes. Uh, so you, you'll just see kind of the terminal down here, uh, not really do much of anything. Uh, but then it's, it's fine after that. So that's the, um, and you can see, you can scroll down. There's some settings you can change, threshold and gain. So that's with the uh, RTL SDR. Now, say you want to use the HackRF, you may be okay with the other flow graph, or you could just use this one here and change the device arguments to HackRF equals zero. You would go to play, save it to the desktop because uh, you're not running this as root, so it won't let you save it here in the examples. Just throw it on your desktop and you'll see it'll start back up we're using the hacker F firmware 2021 also make sure you've updated your firmware in the hacker F when you're using it with the uh, Dragon OS Pi 64 because that's the um, what I kind of built everything around with was based on that firmware there so now that's running with the hacker F so <clears throat> that uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. I mean, that's two things in one here. I wish I could uh, show it uh, running, but uh, hopefully that'll get you up and running and able to kind of mess around with this over the weekend. All right, All right. and thanks for uh, thanks for the support and watching these uh, YouTube videos. All right, take care.